Hey, what's up guys? My name is John Silva and welcome to the second part of creating an MMO landscape. In front of me I have a sped up video uh, and let's jump right into it. You can see that I already had a head start on the right side. We can see a little bit of the pillar, pillar being drawn, uh, the line art. Um, the first things that I'm looking for is not a curiosity on how straight the lines are. Of course, we all want that, but I'm more thinking about the flow and character. Uh, I must remind you that this is not a fully, it's not meant to be a fully fledged um, art piece. Uh, of course, if we can make it so, that would be the best. But our main focus is just to give, uh, give it as much character and personality um, that's really our goal here as you can see to save some time I, I drew one or two circles and I'm just copy pasting it and um, changing its shape slightly using the the warp tool now after merging everything I'm erasing and here I'm, I'm feeling that the lines are a little bit too clear again the character going after that character or that feeling um, I was breaking up the, the lines a little bit adding a here I'm thinking you know what let's add l little designs something to get me going because we have our base um, and that's cool and all but we want we want to build on from that and you'll see you'll see me doing a lot of a lot of cleaning up and a lot of erasing uh, you know, breaking up the lines that I'm just making. Here, I'm trying to give some kind of tile. Uh, it could be like a, a like a dragon kind of uh, scales uh, as a symbol. Not I'm not I'm not really drawing it out, but it's something that uh, the artist could be looking at it and like, huh, we could go we could go that direction, right? And I, I feel like it's obvious that I'm keeping it semi-Asian type of architecture. Lots of uh, wavy kind of rounded shapes. Adding a little bit of depth to those circle, circle designs as the um, perspective is going away and in. At this point, you don't. I don't really have to care too much about, you know, uh, accuracy. It's all about the design. Uh, what other shapes can I? Uh, what other design elements can I bring in to make it even more interesting? Um, I do like the the block blocked in shapes that we have, but we definitely can uh, make it better uh, here. Uh, just quickly, what happened is I added a effect, an outer glow effect to my line art. That's going to allow me to make... It, the brush that I was using was a little bit too sharp, and I was feeling like it, it's starting to become a little bit too uh, too much of a dry effect. So I gave a little bit of a outer glow, um, full opacity, uh, pure black, and just a little bit of a black glow around my my line art that's going to soften things just a tiny little bit uh while while still maintaining the characteristics of of the brush we chose to to do this I'm designing the pillars now the pillars here i was quite i didn't know what what i really wanted to do with them i know i wanted to feel organic um most things around it uh are very are very it has it has many like square shapes or straight straight lines I, I wanted the focal point to be to be definitely more organic uh than the rest adding a, a little bit of thickness and that's a, that's another thing um oh just just before i say what i was going to about to say i'll I'll keep copying and pasting since it's the same shape and I want to keep it uh, unified and of course 
uh, if we can avoid drawing it again uh, since we have so much to draw uh, then the better i do end up drawing i think one more but as i was saying um, when doing line art we tend to forget uh, you know uh, we, we tend to forget that there's actual thickness to things because we draw a line line doesn't really exist in life when you look at things around you don't you don't see a black outline on things unless you painted it on in there right right but that's just not how how things look like and we tend to forget to add a thickness to it because oh well, well there's already a line that means that it's the edge no uh always you always have to uh unless it's straight on you always have to add some some thickness another line right next to that one indicating that there's thickness if you can shade it as well um that would be pretty great and we go back on doing little little uh shapes at the top um, if you, the video is obviously sped up but i i do take my time in thinking on what I want to add. Uh, every time I add something, um, maybe the first couple tries, it's like I just let it go and and uh, see what my instincts can bring me. But if if it doesn't work out, I'll still anyway give it more thought and I'm like, okay, how can I unify everything? Uh, that's That's my major... Um, no, it, uh, that's what I really want to bring in is that everything is unified. Now I'm gonna draw just a silhouette of the um, of the other pieces that are f further away from us. I don't bother too too much with these ones because uh, I don't want you to pay too much attention to it uh, oh okay I already started doing the shading I remember doing this later but apparently yeah I start shading um, I really like doing this cross cross hatched type of shading it really reminds me of like the old old school um, pencil drawings or, or ink drawings from uh, from other RPG games or MMOs. So I, I wanted to bring that. You know, obviously that's not going to be shown uh, in the final product. If they would take this and make it, you know, in 3D and everything, if it, 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 that wouldn't show, obviously, in the final. But it's there to give an emotion, right? It's really about giving the right kind of feeling and emotion. It's always a good idea to check uh, how it, how does your lines look without the without the, um, you know the base that we painted on, and the cross hatching <laughs> it looks it looks really easy looking looking at it now it looks easy but. I do think consistently which direction am I going to do the hatching. Um, it does seem like I'm doing it randomly, but not really. Here I'm adding some quick squiggly lines. I don't really want to draw in a detail like as perfect as possible. Um, the more I can suggest, the more freedom the artists are going to be able to take this and add more onto it, change it, do whatever they please. Um, I thought it was, at this point, I thought it would be cool to add some vegetation, even though it's inside. And, uh, and you know, how much sunlight does this place really uh, get would be up to whoever would, would render this piece. But I'm like, you know what, it would be nice to add some kind of um, you know, like plants to it and, and make it a little bit more organic 
in in the life. I always feel like those two go, they the, those two contrasts of organic, you know, of life versus the architecture, this cold, uh, harsh ar architecture. Those two go very well hand to hand to create the contrast. And I leave most of the most of the uh, plantation and most of the organic life being at the center again that's our that's our main focal point adding a couple more organic shapes no nah, i actually decide not to do to do that i'm like you know what the plants have like a spiky kind of um shape to it so i i, I need to add a little bit more of that to the breach itself to tie in both um, both shapes together. With the shading, checking how does it look like without our uh, thumbnail base. Maybe someone could, uh, I, I, it's always a good idea to check it because someone could take this, this PDF, and maybe they, they could paint under it and, and color it and then render on top. So therefore, keeping everything separated and still good enough looking or the best you possibly can, then that, that's ideal, to be honest with you. And here I'm like... This needs a little bit more plants. Where am I gonna add them? You know what? Let's add them. <laughs> Let's add them to the to the roof of this uh, bridge. Because why not? We can do whatever we want. Yeah, it feels a bit more festive like this. Maybe the players go through. I I'm just trying to think if I go through this bridge. What am I going to see aside from all the players uh, passing by as well? Mm. So maybe, you know, you can look a little bit up and you'll see all these pretty uh, plants or flowers or whatever the artists want to do with this. Oh yeah, here on the sides, I'm, I'm trying to add a bit more straight lines. Um, aside from the filigree, the filigree is very organic shapes. And uh, you, you're going to hear me repeat myself over and over again because it's so important. Because it's really all about the shapes being unified. Straight lines versus um, curved lines. How can we balance those out to create something interesting? So we have that pointy area of the pillar. And now, since it's since it's straight and pointy, whatever it's inside of that pillar is going to be, uh, it's going to have some more organic shapes, more rounded up, uh, rounded up uh, lines. If you'd see this in real time, actually, um, I, I actually stopped drawing uh, from time to time and just think for a minute even just plan out see what i already have done uh how can i make it better should i delete something should i erase something even though it's it's already uh, you know drawn and that's something that could be very hard to do uh let's say i didn't like the top part of the bridge you know if i didn't like and if i didn't feel like it doesn't belong there then i would erase it and maybe it doesn't, but to me, I like it, so I'm going to keep it. It's no biggie. Another thing is detail versus open spaces. When doing this kind of line drawing landscapes uh, as an inspiration, you want to keep busy parts where they belong and empty spaces where you want your eye to rest. 
oh yeah, I had a quick idea here. I was like, let's add a little, a little bit of. Uh, no, what, what uh, at this point I'm thinking, what kind of materials can I add more, right? We, we probably have concrete. Maybe some of the filigree could be a uh, type of metal. Maybe. You now we have plants. I'm like, okay, these are people living here. What other thing? Well, maybe fabric. You know, that could be interesting. Um. Unfortunately, I think this is the only fabric I add. I, I believe I should add more. Looking back now, uh, I would be pretty happy if I could add a couple more. But, you know, again, uh, it's better than, than nothing. <laughs> and it doesn't stand out too much. Finishing up the... Um, the little details in there. If you want to give a, a really quick texture, um, maybe to indicate that something is made of. Uh, concrete um, then just a couple of dots here and there if you if you notice I have like tiny little strokes or even they're just dots uh, it really helps to bring out that kind of texture I try to reserve each type of um, stroke texture uh, assigned to whatever whatever um, material I'm using so for example the the organic parts the the plants they're going to be kind of squiggly with straight lines right the the concrete texture is the dotted as i was saying and a couple of strokes uh, the filigree they're going to be very squiggly but even though it's small i try to to keep a space in between the lines it's squiggly but they don't really cross one another. Um, oh, here I am copy copy pasting. I'm like, you know what? It's the same piece. So if it's the same piece, why not? Uh, I just want to speed up and and get to the to the other areas where I can explore more. You know, if I'm drawing the same thing, and if <laughs> if you if you can actually cut some corners and still make it look good, then why not? Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm treating it a little bit and right now I realize once I copy paste it to one side to another, I realize that I'm missing the shadow side, the, the thickness that I was talking earlier on. I didn't really add any thickness to it, so. Now the stairs. No, I I drew just a couple of stairs and that's it. Going back to shading, <laughs> I really go all over the place now looking at it, but that's fine. That's something completely okay and and if it gets the work done, that's fine. Since this is a type of uh, you know illustration or drawing, whatever you want to call it. It's based on your own feeling, on your own inspiration. Then just let it flow. It's gonna look more natural. It's when you draw something in in that way that really comes from you, and you just let yourself go and draw as you please. It really shows. Um, well. The bad side being that you can <laughs> you can get some pretty random things all over the place. But as long as you from time to time watch out what you're actually doing, um, then that sh that shouldn't really be a problem. If I would put it in percentages, then uh, it would be like ninety percent. Like right now, ninety percent just letting myself. Uh, you know, just doing it and 
just thinking right now, what, what am I doing now? <laughs> that, that's the funny part. Looking back at this, uh, when I record first the drawing and then talking over, I'm like, what are you doing, John? But um, yeah, I'm right now figuring out that the sides, I've been working really a lot on the, on the centerpieces and the sides are really, there's nothing in there. We got to add something in there to, to keep up with uh, the centerpiece. Yeah, the centerpiece is the most important, but, you know, we shouldn't neglect the sides. Now, with that said, I do still keep the sides more, or should I say, less accurate. The lines, I'm trying to make the lines thinner or lighter, uh, more more broken up, less straight. I thought it would be it would be nice to add a couple of torches at the top. Fire torches. Going back to shading. Before I was doing this, um, I was looking at a lot of uh, a lot of inspiration, and I, I really advise you to to do that because sometimes you're gonna you're gonna look at one inspiration uh, photo, drawing, whatever that you wouldn't normally think of, you know, and that's really cool because if you draw without looking at anything, then you're basically limiting yourself. If The more you look at things, the more you're actually um, just browsing through and keeping your mental library growing and researching for as many things as you possibly can. You don't, you know, I'm not saying you gotta copy the things you look at, but take some sort of inspiration from the shapes that you see, you know. Even from random, random things, like... Like, um... Fishes, for example. You can take some... Some patterns from some fishes and add it... To, to a building, for example. Things of that nature really, really... Uh, help you refresh your your mental library and what you're used to to seeing. If you notice, I'm really trying my best here to keep the lines as as things go further away from us to keep it as light as possible. Oh yeah, the torch was a little bit too big. And back to the sides. Some more shading. Here there's really not, not much to, to comment on. But, you know, as long as you follow whatever you already established in the center, and follow that pattern, then your life is going to be much more easier. And I believe, like, honestly, the most time it took me was the shading. Here it looks pretty quick, obviously. Doing that entrance. And that's actually an idea that, that, I, that I liked from this. Giving an opportunity in one single shot, um, gi giving an opportunity for the artist to see that there's more to it. It's not just a, a closed space, obviously, um, since we have boats and things going on. It, it's just, to be completely honest with you, it's more of an excuse to 
to show that there's more out there. Like the boats, I feel like it was a good idea, but it could be anything else, right? It could be cars. As a, anything, anything you think of that would allow us to imagine what's beyond this place. And yeah, if you're if you're watching this and and you're liking it so far, feel free to you know let us know what if you're into if you're into MMOs what what do you like, uh, and maybe even try drawing drawing one of your favorite uh, games you know or even RPGs locations. It's always good practice. And here is actually important. Am I start? Yeah, okay. The stairs part, I felt like they're a bit too straight, and I'm losing that flow. The, those stairs uh, before were m making the flow of uh, my image not not as good as I wanted. So I made the the stairs curve, adding a little bit more plants to the top, and here I decided that instead of just a solid pillar, I wanna, how can I make this cool and organic? So I'm like, why not add, why not add some cool plants inside of uh, of the pillar, you know, encased in glass. So right now I'm just building up to that, showing right now. Uh, see through lines and plant inside now maybe this 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 shows a little bit more um what kind of technology there could be in there um since they're encased maybe maybe inside the plant is given more oxygen or Anything that could um, could actually be be cool and not not rudimentary, you know, something a little bit more advanced, or at least it looks advanced. I don't know. I'll let the other guys figure it out. I'm just giving mood and. And something to to build on to or build from that's why the that's why pre-production is really really fun to me at least idea building adding a, a little bit of shading since it's closer to us I want to make sure that the lines are a bit darker than most places I think I end up yeah, darkening some some of these areas. Oh yeah, now the characters. At first I was planning to just go in and draw every single character like really nicely, but you know what? That's going to take away from the landscape. This is not about, you know, I'm mainly a character artist when it comes to these type of uh, jobs, but this time, no. This time I, the, the centerpiece is the landscape. And I have to keep that in mind, so I'm just going to outline them, uh, give some nice shapes that maybe you could imagine what kind of armor or clothing they would have, but not too, not too detailed. Yeah, a couple of people at the upper part too. Here I'm showing, again, the... Showing more space, more more areas where you can go in and out is extremely important to, to me, at least in MMOs. I don't like feeling too enclosed. I, I want to feel like I can, can go anywhere, right? So it's kind of like a, a double breach. 
Oh, this was fun. I actually had a lot of fun on this. I wasn't expecting, but I'm like, you know what? I'm talking about technology. What kind of technology would these guys use? I don't want just your old, good old, regular boats. So even if it doesn't make, it makes sense, you know. At least it looks cool. And you can build on from that. And that's actually something I would like to talk about. A lot of times, more and more, I feel like young artists, because they care too much about skills and being correct, they stick too much to reality. And that's limiting you as an artist. Uh, even myself, I was a victim of that. And uh, I say victim because it, it's just makes us stop from progressing and, and thinking forward, right? It's okay if you want to follow other people's, um, you know, ideas and you don't really want to think uh, about your own, then I guess you can just disregard what I'm saying. But I feel like as an artist, you want to strive to be better. And because we start, uh, when, when, when we just start doing it, we want to get really good and be correct. And because of that, we avoid um, experimenting. So I feel, yeah, here I felt like I'm done with line, uh, with the lines. I'm pretty confident in them. So let's quickly uh use the base that we already have but make it much cleaner so i'm using the same layers from the previous part from part one and i just go over and make sure everything is is looking nice fix these guys here uh, really quick. This didn't, didn't took too long. And yeah, we are approaching the near part, the, the end, but right before we do that, I almost forgot that um, I wanted to have like a sepia kind of color, like muted uh, browns. I feel like that looked really really cool so i i go back in make my my uh, image back to color and fix some areas making making some areas more gray and making some areas that are closer to us more uh, saturated brown and yeah um yeah i hope you like this i really really liked uh, drawing uh, this landscape i i don't have too much opportunities to do it but I had now and I really enjoyed it and I hope you did too. So I'll see you on the next video and thanks.